Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I have so much to be thankful for. We hit 40,000 subscribers this week and that is all because of every one of you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how awesome that is. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment it, with in-depth tutorials, so you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload about two to three times a week. If that sounds interesting, go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. All right, so what we have here is a Echo CS271T chainsaw, one of the most awesome little light one, you know, top handle saws that you can get. Um, unfortunately, this is a friend saw. It always is. They um, have used it a lot, but they dropped it in the lake and they didn't bring it to me right after they dropped it in the lake. They let it sit and it probably has been sitting for, I guess, about six months before they decided to bring it in the shop. And once they did, they said immediately after um, they dropped it in the lake. They didn't try to start it, but they did try to start it a little while later and it would pull, but it wouldn't start. But now I can't even get the rewind to work. The pull rope won't come out at all. So we're gonna tear it apart and see what's going on. So first thing I'm going to do to just get it out of the way, I'm gonna take the chain and bar off. And this side's locked. This is not looking good. We're gonna go ahead and take the rewind off and make sure that it's nothing in the rewind doing it. Rewind works pretty good, so it's not the rewind. It definitely is the cylinder. Turning it here. It's not wanting to move the flywheel. It's not pinned against the coil, so we gotta dig deeper. Take this air filter off. That's gross. I'm gonna remove the plug. No water in there. There still is gas. It's been sitting for a long time. I'm sure that's not any good. It's not. But there was no water in there. There's not really a way for water to get into the gas tank because it has, you know, the grommet. So let's go ahead and make sure nothing got into the bar oil tank. good no water got inside of there so we got to free up the cylinder and the piston I'm gonna go ahead and look down inside it looks beautiful the cylinder still does let's go ahead and remove the muffler now, I know this sounds like an odd problem, but where I'm from, around the lakes, around flood zones, this is not an uncommon problem. Um, I've 
seen at least four or five in the last couple of years that have you know been completely immersed in water so what i do the first thing after i've cleaned it out made sure that there's nothing you know no water that i can uh, you know see immediately i go ahead and flood the cylinder with two cycle oil and i just let it sit hopefully it'll uh, loosen that cylinder up and we can get it going again Let's see what's going on down in here. Well. All right, so all that oil that I put into the cylinder and let it sit with is sitting in here. We're gonna pour that out. I was hoping that that would help break it free a little bit. So we let the oil sit in there um, and now I'm going to see if I can loosen up the piston. I'm going to give it a few light taps on the clutch. And we're going to go back and forth with it because I don't want to take the clutch off and it will since the piston's locked right now. So I'm going to uh, tap on it both ways. Awesome. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to get the rest of this oil out. Oh, that's gas too. Or water or something. That's not just oil. Something real loose up in there. I don't even know what that is. It smells like lacquer, but he didn't tell me that he put anything in here. I don't know if his gas just smells like that, but let's get the rest of this out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rewind back on so I can use it to uh, help get the rest of all this oil and whatever that is on the inside out. pour out of there. Piston still looks beautiful. It's very wet inside. Might open this up and let it dry out because I don't have my air close. I don't know. I think we should put it back together and see if it starts. Gotta love this because it articulates at 90 degrees. I mean, it's awesome for whatever position that you're in. All right. I'm not going to put the barn chain back on. I am going to put some fresh fuel in it.
I'm going to put a little bit of fuel down into the cylinder to help it pop off. I use red armor oil in all of my equipment. It's got fuel stabilizer in it, which I think is the best oil you can get. All right, now water could have gotten into the carburetor area, and I do not know that yet. So I'll, the first thing I, you know, I just gotta see if it's gonna start and do anything. It did have fire before. It didn't look like the coil was rusted, so I'm pretty confident that it still has fire, but let's see. All right, so we've primed it. I'm not gonna choke it since I did flood the cylinder, and I'm pretty confident that it's going to have fire since it did have fire before it was in the water and the coil and, and uh, flywheel was not rusty. So we're gonna go ahead and just try to start it. Throttle's all the way open. If you do um, get your unit fully submersed, you have to uh, lubricate the inside of it so it will run again. So that's what I did with letting it sit with a, you know, a good amount of oil in the piston cylinder and then breaking it free. Thankfully, this unit will live to saw another day. Now this isn't just a trick with saws that have been completely submerged in water. Also saws that slightly are burned up, like if you ran it for just a little bit with straight gas and it locked the piston cylinder up, you can try to flood the cylinder with oil to get it broken up. And I've done it with backpack blowers a lot of times um, and it does work. You can possibly get it going again and, and give you some, you know, extra longevity into that burned up unit if you need to. but. Um, just flood the cylinder with oil, let it sit, let it lubricate, get it all out, clean it out, and hopefully it'll work. So thanks for tuning back into Jucanic. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe and leave a comment. I love to read through the comments. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash Jucanic. We're also on Instagram at The Real Chicanic, and we just had our new website launched, Chicanic.com. So thanks and have a great day.